Father, we thank you. We give you glory, Jesus. Only my Father, you are King over the Francis morning. We give you glory. Lord, I'll be still and know your God this morning. We give you glory. We give you honor, my Father. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, we give you glory this morning, my Father. We worship you. We give you glory, my Father. And so we do about the storm, my Father, this morning. In the name of Jesus, you are king over all the plants in our life. And we will be still and know that you are going on. Yes, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify you this morning. Father, you are king of all the plants, the plants in our lives, the obstacles in our life, my Father. We give you glory. We give you honor, my Father, this morning. We bless you. We bless you, Jehovah God. Thank you. Thank you this morning for being a faithful God to us. Thank you, my Father, for walking with us, my Father. Thank you for being gracious to us, my Father. We give you glory. We give you honor this morning. We magnify your name, Jehovah God. There is no other God but you, Jehovah God. We give you glory, my Father. We magnify you, Jehovah. Receive all the glory and honor this morning. Receive all the glory and honor this morning. We worship you. We worship you, my Father. We give you glory, my Father. We honor you, Jehovah God. We honor you, Jehovah God, in the beauty of your holiness. Have your way, my Father. Have your way, Jehovah. Have your way, my God. We give you glory. We give you glory, my Father. We magnify your name. We magnify you this morning. There is no other God but you, Jehovah God. There is no other God but you this morning. Receive all the glory and honor. Receive all the glory and honor. Oh, Rabba Shakantara we worship you, my Father. We worship you, King of all glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father, this beautiful morning that you called us. We come and worship you. We give you glory, my Father. We welcome your presence, my Father. Even as we call upon your name this morning, we welcome your presence. Come and have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus give you glory thank you thank you everyone that has joined this morning i want to request you to share this link with your people please kindly share the link share the link so that we can come and call upon the name of the lord just share this link with your people today we are going to call upon the lord who wants us in this mountain i want you to share this link with your people share the link in your whatsapp groups in all your, your social media platform that we may come and call upon the name of the lord kindly call a friend tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend that today we are in the mountain and the lord is here we have a special visitation today we have a special visitation this morning so i want to request everyone kindly share the link with your people share the link share the link share 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 just click that button to share so that we can come and call upon the name of the lord this morning because the lord is here to hear our cry he is here to answer your prayer he is here to finish with you strong this year in the name of jesus so even if you are praying from january to november but today the lord is doing a new thing in your life let's kindly share the link with your people let us come and call upon the name of the lord i want us to begin and i want to appreciate our our papa Dr. apostle david today this morning we want to really appreciate you for giving us a platform that we can come and call upon the name of the lord that we can come and seek the face of the lord we really appreciate you we appreciate you thank you daddy even for allowing me to minister to your people this morning and to minister to the people of the lord this morning we appreciate you and may the lord continue blessing you together with dr eunice may the lord bless you very 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 much we appreciate and love you this morning i want us to call upon the name of the lord who hears in this mountain a mountain that we come and pray and god answers our prayer it doesn't matter whether we are prayed from morning, from january to november today is a special day he's saying call upon the name of the lord call upon me and i'll answer you so that is the promise every morning when i come to pray here that is the promise i hold on to because he says call upon me and i am going to answer you it doesn't matter whether whatever you've been claiming has not been done there is a god of 11th hour there is a god of the last minute so today i want us to to, to read the word of god and I want us to read the book of Psalms, Psalms 124, Psalms 124. I want us to read together Psalms 124. And I will read from verse 1, Psalms 124. The Bible says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say, 
if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose against us, then they would have quickly swallowed us alive when their wrath was rekindled against us. When the waters would have, then the waters would have engulfed have would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept our souls away. Then the raging water would have swept over our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, who, will, who has not given us to pray, to be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the flora. The trap is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Amen. I want us to go before the Lord this morning with a gratitude in our heart. I want us to go before the Lord and tell thank God, thank you. Just reflect on what God, how God has carried you from January to November. God has taken care of you. You have not been sick. And the ones that have been sick, God has healed you. The enemy would have swallowed you. You are supposed to have gotten that accident. You are supposed to have buried your relatives. You are supposed to have been admitted in the hospital. You are supposed to have lost that job. You are supposed to have not been having shelter. But the Lord protected you. Even before we come and claim and bound anything this morning, I want us to tell the name. I want us to lift up our voice and just tell God, thank you. I want us to go before the Lord with our gratitude. Tell the Lord, thank you for taking care of us. Just sit down and and reflect the things that God has done for you. He has provided for you from January to this time. He has taken care of your health. We have not buried you. We have not, we have, even when you were admitted in the hospital, the Lord took you out of that hospital bed. The Lord watched over you. Just sit down and just have a gratitude, a grateful heart this morning. I want us to lift up our voice and tell God, thank you, Lord, for protecting us. Thank you, my Father, for keeping us. When the enemy would have swallowed us, when the flans were about to sweep us away, Lord, you kept us, oh God. We want to thank you for January. I want us to count the months that the Lord has taken care of you. I want you to sit down and count your blessings one by one. The singer sang and said, I will count my blessing one by one. This morning, I want you to sit down and see what God has done for you. I want us to sit down. I want us to sit down and see what God has really done in your life. When you don't, just forget about what he has not done this morning. For, forget about the goals and the whatever you wrote in first January that is not done. And look at what God God has done for you this morning. I want us to lift up our voice and just tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for watching over us. So, God, thank you, my Father, for protecting us and keeping us, my Father. We want to worship you, my God. We want to give you glory. We want to give you glory, my Father, this morning. Thank you, King of all glory. Thank you, my Father. We give you glory, my God. We give you glory, my Father, this morning. There is none like you, Jehovah God. There is none like you, my Father. We worship you, Jehovah King of all glory. We worship you, my Father. We give you glory. We give you glory, my God, who lives in heaven. My Father, we must Magnify your name. Thank you for taking care of us, Jehovah God. Thank you, my Father, for preserving us, oh Jehovah God. Thank you, my Father, for watching over us when the enemy was after us, oh Jehovah. Thank you, my Father, for preserving us when we are supposed to have died, oh God. Thank you for your provision this year, Jehovah. We say thank you, my God. Were it not for you who was on our side, my Father, we would have been consumed this year. Were it not for you, Jehovah God, who was not on our side, my Father, we would have been buried this year, my Father. But Jehovah God, you wash over our lives. You give us health, my Father. We want to worship you. Just lift up your voice and worship the name of the Lord. Tell the Lord, thank you for keeping us. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for keeping us, my God, alive, oh Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, when you were admitted in the hospital, my father, you took us out of that hospital bed. When the enemy would have swallowed us, my God, you kept us, my father. We give you glory. We worship you this morning, Jehovah God, in this mountain. We came to worship you, Jehovah God. We give you glory this morning, Jehovah King of all glory. Rabba Shakantara Raboziah. Rabba oh, Rabba Kantara Raboziah, my father. We give you glory, my father. We magnify your name. We magnify your name, Jehovah God. God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, we give you glory, my Father. We worship you this morning. We came to say thank you, my God. We came to say thank you. Thank you, King of all glory. There is none like you, Jehovah. Thank you for watching over us, my God. Thank you for preserving our lives, my God. Thank you for watching over our children, my Father. Thank you for still giving us that job that we love, my Father. Thank you for providing us shelter, my God, when we are supposed, my Father. 
asked to have been sacked. My father, you was preserved us, oh God. Thank you for the grace that has been speaking of our lives, oh my God and my father. We give you glory and we give you honor, Jehovah. We magnify you this morning. We lift up your name this morning, Jehovah God. We came to say thank you, my father. Thank you, Lord, King of all glory. When you are supposed to have died, Jehovah God, you watched over us, oh Jehovah. When we are supposed, my father, to have been buried, God, you kept us, oh Jehovah God, alive. We say thank you this morning. We say thank you, my God. We say thank you, my Father. We lift up your name this morning. Oh God, we give you glory, my Father. Thank you for preserving us, oh Jehovah Lord. Thank you for taking us, my Father, from the hands of the snare, Jehovah God. My Father, like a bad, my Father, Lord, we have escaped, my Father, the wrath of the enemy, my God. Thank you, King of all glory, when you protected us, my Father, from the witches of our village. My Father, thank you, Lord, when that arrow was shot against us, my Father, you protected us, oh Jehovah God, when the day when the arrow of death was projected to us, my father, you have battered it as my father. We give you glory, my God, this morning. We worship you, Jehovah God. We worship you, Jehovah King of all glory. My Father, there is none like you, Jehovah God. There is none like you this morning, Jehovah King of all glory. There is none, Jehovah Rabba Shanta Rabba Oh, Rabba Kanta Rabba Kanta Rabba My God, we give you glory. We give you honor, my Father. Oh, Rabba She Kanta Rabba Jehovah King of all glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory and we give you honor this morning my father we attribute our being alive to you my father we thank you lord for keeping us oh god we thank you my father that you have not been consumed thank you jehovah god we worship you and we bless you jehovah god this morning i want us to to, to read the word of god this morning and i was i was just meditating on what we need to come and pray for i heard that there are so many of us who have prayed. The beginning of January, you wrote your prayer items down. You've planted a seed. You've fasted. You have prayed. And comes this is November. And none of your prayer items has been answered. None of what you have written down has been answered. Today I came with a hope. There is a God of an 11th hour. And that is the God that you are going to call upon this morning. I want us to read the word of God from the book of Kings chapter 18. First Kings 18 verse 37. First Kings 18 verse 37. Our God of 11th hour. The Bible says, uh, the Bible says and verse, uh, verse, verse 37. No, let me read from verse 40, from 42. Let me read from 42. And Ahab went up to eat and drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Camel and crouched down the earth and put his face between his knees. And he said to his servant, go look up the sea. So he went up and looked up and said, there is nothing, Elijah. Go back seven times. And at the seventh time, the servant the servant said, a cloud as small as man's hand is coming up from the sky. And Elijah said, go up to Ahab, prepare your chariots and go down so that the rain showers not stop you. Amen. I know this one we can relate very well. Some of us, we have been in this mountain. Every morning we have been connecting in prophetic hour. Every evening we are in grace hour. You have written down, you have prayed, you have fasted, you have you have gone to the mountain to pray. And you are telling me this morning, servant of God, yes, I have prayed from January, February, March, April, this is November. And none of my prayer items has been, has been answered. The Bible says when Elijah prayed for the rain, he told his servant, go and check the first time. The servant went and said, there is nothing that is happening, my master. He went for the second time. He came back with a message, my master, there is nothing that has happened. He went for the fourth, fifth, sixth time. At the sixth time, he told Elijah, there is nothing still that has happened, my master. You said there is rain and there is nothing that is happening. And the seventh time, the Bible says, and when the servant went to seek, he came and told the servant of God, my master, today I have seen a small cloud like the hand of man. And the Elijah said, I have seen it. This is what the Lord is about to do. He's going to pour the rain. He's going to pour the rain that he spoke about. God and said that it's going to be abundant rain. And today this morning, I don't know what you have been praying. Every day you have been applying for that job. Every day you have been seeking God. Every January you applied for the job. February you applied for that tender. In April you were fasting for the same thing. In May you even went to the mountain to pray. And you are not even seeing a cloud of even a sign that God is answering your prayer. I want to I, I came this morning 
with a message that there is a small cloud of an 11th hour that the Lord is showing up for you this morning. There is a small cloud of an 11th hour that God is showing up in your life this morning. I want you to open your spiritual eyes. I want you to see that cloud that is coming in your, uh, in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And this morning, I want us to lift up your voice. I want us to call upon the name of an 11th hour. The Lord who wants us, the one who answers our prayer, we are going to tell the Lord, yes, the sixth time you have not seen anything, but today our spiritual eyes are calling it to being in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your voice and call that thing that you wanted. The, the, Elijah, Elijah was looking for a cloud. I don't know what you are looking for. For that job, open your spiritual eyes. Call it, call it, call it. Just open your mouth and speak that which you've been praying for if from January to November. This is an 11th hour that the Lord is just about to answer your prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory. We give you honor, my Father. This morning, Jehovah God, we are coming to call upon you, Jehovah. On an 11th hour, Jehovah God, we have been praying, Jehovah God, from January. We have prayed from February. We have prayed, Jehovah God, throughout May. We have prayed through throughout July, my God. We have prayed, my Father, we have fasted, we have planted seeds, Jehovah God. We have not seen a sin. But today, Jehovah God, there is a sign of an 11th hour. The 11th month, Jehovah God, we are not giving up, oh God. Rabba Shekan pray my father for everyone that is joined this morning that my god the lord of elijah wants and on the seventh time my god you are going to answer our prayer tonight you are going to answer our prayer this morning this afternoon wherever we are joined from jehovah i declare my god that i declare my god that our prayer shall be answered this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ oh jehovah open our spiritual eyes my father to see my god on that which you are doing in us in that 11th hour, my God. I pray for everyone that is connected this morning. That my God, the same Lord, the miracle of the 11th hour, Jehovah God. I speak the miracle of the 11th hour, Jehovah God. To everyone that is connected, my Father. Everything that you presented to in this mountain from January, God, to November, Jehovah. We call upon you concerning the same. That which has not been done, Jehovah God. It is never too late this morning. My God, it is never too late. Because you are here to perform that which you began in us, Jehovah God. My God, this morning, Jehovah, we call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, our God of 11th hour. My God, the miracle of 11th hour, Jehovah. We will still hold on to you, Jehovah. You never my God, this morning, I declare our God of 11th hour, our God who answers our prayers, Jehovah, we call upon you for that healing, Jehovah, my God, everyone that has been stressing you for a healing, Jehovah, I declare this morning, Jehovah, my God, every prayer need that has been presented, this is Parabakenta Masera, I declare it done this morning. I declare it done this morning. My God, Oh, my my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. I declare my God, my Father, every prayer need that has been presented this this mountain, Jehovah God. That my Father this morning, Jehovah God, it shall be answered, oh God. It shall be done, oh Jehovah God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Rabba Sheka Rabba Baba Baze. Riyama Kantara Rabo Zaya Rabba Kantara Rabo Zaya, my Father. Lord, we call upon you, our God of 11 hour this morning, that my God and my Father, we are not throwing up the towel. My Father, we are not giving up. It is never too late in our lives. We call upon you, Jehovah God, even for that miracle, for that restoration, oh God, for that divine settlement, Jehovah God. We declare this morning, Jehovah, it shall be done, oh Jehovah, Rabba Shanta, Rabba Zaya. Oh, Rabba Kanta, Rabba Zaya, my Father, we declare it is done in our lives so God, we declare it is done in our lives, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus.
Jesus. Oh, Rabba Sheka Rabba Kanta Rabba Zaya. Riyama Sheka Rabba Zaya. We are not like them that are going to give up. We are not like them that are going to give up this morning. Rabba Sheka Rabba Kanta Rabba Zaya. Oh, Rabba Baba Sheka Rabba Kanta Rabba Zaya, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Rabba Kanta Rabba Zia. Oh, Rabba Sheka Rabba Kanta Rabba Zaya. I declare my God, Rabba Shenta Rabba Zia. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the book of Hebrews chapter, in the book of Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 23, the Bible says, let us cease and hold tightly the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is reliable and trustworthy and faithful to his word. He who promised, that prophetic one that was spoken to your life, this morning I want to come to tell you that he is faithful and reliable and he is watching to perform it. It was spoken in January. Yes, he who spoke it he is faithful and reliable. I want us to pray and go before God this morning and tell us, tell the Lord, God give me the grace to wait upon you, even for the remaining period of time. I feel there are so many people in this mountain that are about to give up. There are so many people that are saying God spoke it and he has not done it. There are so many people that are here and wondering, I have been praying from January to November. There are so many people that are wondering, I wrote the prayer item and presented them in the altar. It has not come to come to pass. Today I came with a message in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 23. Let us not lose hope. Let us seize and hold tightly to the confession of our faith without wavering. For he who promised is reliable and trustworthy and faithful to fulfill that which is spoke over your life. I want us to pray for the grace to wait upon God for the remaining period. Let me tell you, the darkest hour of the day is just before dawn. The darkest hour is just before when you are just about to break through. I don't know what you're feeling in your life. You feel like that you have come to an end. You feel that you have already given up. This morning, I want to tell you, when you feel that you're just about to give up, is when the Lord is about to show up for you. Tell the Lord, give me the grace to wait upon you. To call him faithful. Call the Lord trustworthy in that word that he spoke over your life. Call the Lord faithful in that need that you have. Trust in him totally this morning, the child of God. Just lift up your voice and tell the Lord, God, give me the grace to see your faithfulness in my situation. God, give me the grace to see your faithfulness even in that situation. The Lord remains to be God and it is a faithful God. My Father, call comes here. My God, we call you faithful this morning. We call you faithful in our situations, my Father. We are going to hold on unto the one we are going to hold on to hold on to that prophetic word that you spoke of our lives. My God, you said about Shenta and about Zion. We are not losing up this morning. Yes, it is November, my God, but you are faithful and reliable, Jehovah. You are a faithful and a reliable God. You are a faithful and a reliable God this morning. Rabba Shekanta and about Zion. We declare, my God, that you are a faithful and a reliable God. Rabba Shekanta and about Zion, Jehovah God, this morning. Rabba Shekanta and we call you a faithful God this morning, Jehovah. We trust you, my God. My God, even for them that are joined today. My God, we trust you in that need, Jehovah God. We call you reliable, my God, in that healing. We call you a God who is faithful, my Father, in that need. My God, even that divine settlement, my God, you are reliable. You are still reliable, Jehovah. We hold on to faith, Jehovah. Give us the grace. I pray for the grace to wait upon you, Jehovah God. We pray for the grace to wait upon you on our needs this morning. Rabba Shekantara Rabba Zion. None of us shall give up this morning. My Father, give us the grace to wait upon you. Give us the grace, my Father, to wait upon you. Give us the grace, oh God, to wait upon you. My Father, we declare you faithful, Jehovah. We are reliable in our lives, Jehovah. Even when this not too seems to be not working, Jehovah God. You are Rabba Shekantara Rabo Zaya. My God, you are faithful to accomplish that which you spoke to us, oh God. My God, the promise that you gave us, divine settlement, Jehovah. It is never too late, Jehovah God. We can still hold on, my Father, for the remaining one month because, Jehovah God, you are a God of 11th hour. My Father, give us the grace to wait upon you, Jehovah. 
for the few hours that are remaining to close the year because my God, you are going to do it, Jehovah God, even before the year ends, oh God. Our seventh time is coming, Jehovah. Oh, Rabbi Shakantara Rabbi Oh, Rabbi Kantara Rabbi my Father. Give us the grace this morning. My God, in our situations, we call reliable Jehovah. In our situations, we call you faithful Jehovah. We shall not lose hope, Jehovah God, because you are watching my Father and hearing our prayer this morning. And you are there to perform that which you've called upon you, Jehovah God, for my God and my Father. You are going to fulfill your purpose in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shekanta Rabba Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Sheka Rabba Kanta Rabba My God and my Father. My God, we call you faithful in our situations, my God. We call you faithful in our situations, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, you are faithful to your word, Jehovah. Every prophetic one that has been spoken in this altar, my God, you are faithful to fulfill it, Jehovah. Every promise that you've given us that you are holding unto Jehovah, you are faithful, my God, to fulfill it, oh Jehovah. Every promise that you are holding, every prayer item, my God. God, that you presented in this altar every morning. My God, you are faithful. We hold you reliable and faithful, Jehovah God, because you are watching your one to perform it this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. We put our trust in you, my God. Oh, my Father, give us the grace to wait upon you for the remaining period, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. Oh, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. In the book of the same book of Hebrews, chapter 12. The same book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and verse 2. The Bible says, looking away from all that will distract us, focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the perfecter of our faith, the first incentive for us, believe for, for, for our belief, and one who brings our faith to maturity, for who for the joy of for the joy of accomplishing the goals set before him and who had the cross, disgrading the shame and sat down in the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his reality, his authority and com competition, completion of his word. In the name of Jesus Christ. This morning I was just thinking about the death of Jesus Christ and I was just asking myself, why was Jesus not killed in another way? Why was he not stoned up? Why was he not killed all murdered and just thrown somewhere but he had to hang on the cross why did he have to hang on a higher place so that when our hands are down when we are downcast when we feel our hands are low when our eyes cannot look at the ground because of the shame that we have the bible says there is a cross that we can lift our eyes and look unto the bible says let us hold on to faith the bible says in the book of that the book of that the book of uh, the book of uh, that hebrews chapter 2 and verse, uh, and verse chapter 2 verse 2 for he died for us the cross the bible says he is the other and the perfecter of our faith he is the other and the perfecter he said before he had won the cross so that even when you're feeling that shame you can see what god had done for you at the cross you can lift up your voice the bible says the lord is the lifter of our hands he does not just lift our hands to look for nothing he lifts our hands to look at the cross that he carried our sicknesses he lifts our, our hand to look at the cross that he carried your shame he lifts that's our hand up to look at the way he carried your burden. I don't know whether you have something that you are telling the Lord today. I want to look upon you up. I want to lift up my voice. I want to lift up my eyes up. He hung up on a cross so that when our hands are downcast, we can look at him. When our, when we are so ashamed that we cannot look up, we can lift up our eyes and see that he took our shame at the cross in the name of Jesus. And this morning, we are praying that the Lord is going to help us to put our trust in him. The Bible says, cast is man who trusts him. The cast is who trusts in man. Today, we are going to put, to, put, to put our trust in the Lord. We are going to look at the cross where he carried that sickness, where he carried that problem that you have written down, where he carried that miracle that you need, where all our answers, the Bible says he is the lift of our hand. Just open your mouth and tell the Lord, my father, we look unto the cross, we look unto the cross, where you said it is finished, my God and my 
Father, this morning, the prayer items you have been praying in this mountain, Lord, you said that the cross that it is finished this morning, we lift up our voice, our eyes unto you, Jehovah, looking unto you is our hope. My God, looking unto you is our hope in this marriage. Looking unto you is our hope in this sickness. Looking unto you, my Father, is our hope, my Father, in this financial situation. My Father, we look unto you, Yahweh. We look unto Yahweh this morning. We look unto Yahweh this morning. We lift our voice and our eyes unto the cross, my Father, where you said it is finished. My Father, where you carried our shame, my Father, where you carried our burden, my God. We look unto you, Yahweh, this morning. We look unto you, Yahweh, this morning. We lift our voice and look unto you, Yahweh. We look unto you, Yahweh, this morning. We look at the cross where you carried our infirmities. We look at the cross, my Father, where you carried our sicknesses. We look at the cross, my Father, where you carried that need. My God, that, that cross, you are sure it is finished. My God, that is our hope this morning. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, you are our trust, oh my Father, you are our trust this morning, you are our trust this morning, my God, oh my in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, we lift our fire, our eyes unto you, Jehovah, the other and the perfecter of our faith. My God, you are going to lift our hands, my God. We look and live this morning. We look unto you and live this morning. My Father, we look unto you and live this morning. We look unto you and live this morning. The other and the perfecter of our faith. My God, we come to you this morning, Jehovah. We present that which you've carried from January, that which you've carried February, that which you've carried May, that which you've carried throughout the year until November, Jehovah. The burdens that you've carried, Jehovah, we bring them and lay them at the cross, my God, where you carried them up, Jehovah God, and you said it is finished. This morning, Jehovah God, they lift up the perfecter of our faith. We lift up our eyes and look unto you, Yahweh. We look unto you, Yahweh, this morning. We look unto you, Yahweh, this morning, Jehovah. The other, the perfecter of our faith, Jehovah. We trust in you, Jehovah. We will trust in you, my God. We will trust in you, Jehovah, Rabbi Shantara. Oh, our trust in you, my God. Our trust is in you this morning. We call upon you. You've never forsaken your children, Jehovah God. That is why you carried our Karabashera. You carried our burdens on the cross this morning. We declare, my God and my Father, you hand up the cross to carry our shame. You hand up the cross to carry our infirmities. You hand our God the cross, my Father, for your grace to be released upon our lives. My Father, you hand up the cross, my God, so that when you look out to you, my Father, mercy shall speak of our lives. Mercy is going to speak of our lives. Mercy is going to speak of our lives. My Father, because you hand up the cross, my Father, we declare this morning, my God, for everyone that is connected today, mercy. Mercy shall overflow. Mercy and the grace is going to overflow, my God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Sheka, Rabbi Kanta, Rabbi Zaya. I pray that mercy is going to speak of our lives, my God. Mercy is going to speak of our lives, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Rabbi Sheka, Rabbi Baba Zaya. Oh, Rabbi Kanta, Rabbi Zaya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Rabbi Sheka, Rabbi Baba Baba. Oh, Rabbi Kanta, Rabbi Zaya, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Rabba Sheka, Rabba Babo Zaya, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare, my God, that Jehovah God, mercy is going to speak of our lives, Jehovah. My God, mercy is going to speak of our lives, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Rabba Sheka, Rabba Baba Baba Zaya. Oh, Rabba Kanta, Rabba Zaya, my Father. I declare this morning, Jehovah, Rabba Shenta, Rabba Zaya. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, we give you glory, my God, we give you glory. In the name of Jesus, Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12 to 13. We cannot ignore the schemes of the enemy. Daniel chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. Even as we, as, as, as we go before God, then Daniel chapter 10. And the Bible says, verse 10, chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. The Bible says, and the heart, and, and he said to me, do not be afraid, Daniel. 
For from the first day that you set your heart on understanding and on humbling yourself before your God, your words were hard, and I have come in response to your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia was standing in the opposition to me for 21 days. Then behold, Michael, one of the chief angels, came to help me, for I had been left there with the king of Persia. I know you have been praying from January. <clears throat> Sorry, you have been praying from January to November. The Bible says, and the word, the assurance of the Lord, that from the first day that you set yourself to pray, the Lord had your prayer. But there are some forces in our lives that come to stand between our prayers. It cannot be January, this is November. You have been just praying and God was deaf. He is not deaf. The Bible says he had your prayers. He has heard your prayer. There are some which, there are some powers that comes between. The Bible says when Daniel set himself to pray, the prince of Persia came in between and he did his prayers. But today we want to take our rightful position as the children of God. And I want to declare that every principality that is holding our prayer this morning, any principality that has been holding our prayer that we prayed from January down, is going to die by fire. Any mountain that has been hindering our prayers, yes, we are praying and the Lord has answered. Today we want to call upon the fire from above. Fire to come and release our prayers. To come and release our answers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just lift up your voice even as, just lift up your voice and call upon the name of the Lord. Every I declare this morning, my father, any prince of Persia that has been delaying our answers, any prince of Persia that has been delaying our prayers this morning, we declare you to die. 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 Died by fire in the name of Jesus. We call upon the fire from heaven. The same fire that Elijah called when he was with the, the prophets of Baal. We call upon the same fire to consume every works of the enemy. Whatever the enemy has been laying against, whatever the enemy has been hindering our prayers, whatever mountain the enemy has put, whatever barrier that the enemy has put, any prince of Persia released in our prayers, any witches of our uh, villages that are coming to hinder our prayers. Tonight we declare, this morning we declare you to die. We declare you to die. We declare you to die in the name of Jesus. Any delay, any prince of Persia that comes to delay our prayers, any delay in promotions, any delay in our marriages, any delay in our families, any delay in that healing, we declare tonight any prince of Persia, any powers of darkness that have been hindering our prayers, we declare you to die, to die in the name of Jesus Christ. And you declare it is done. It is done in our lives. We declare the enemy has no hold of our lives. The enemy cannot hinder our prayers because the angel has come to fight for us. The angel is, is now fighting with the enemy. He is contending with them that are contending with us. In the name of Jesus, he is contending with the enemy this morning. In the name of Jesus, because we are overcomers. We are overcomers in Christ this morning. Rabba Shekantara Rabozaya. Oh, Rabba Kantara Rabozaya. Rabba Kantara Rabozaya. We declare this morning. Oh, Rabba Kantara Rabozaya. We call upon the fire from heaven. The fire that Elijah called. The fire that Elijah called. The fire that Elijah called. Every arrow that has been shot from our villages. Every arrow that has been shot to end our prayers. To cut short our miracles. Tonight we declare you to die. We declare you to die. We declare you to die in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare our victory this morning. We declare our victory this morning in Christ Jesus. We declare every person. I declare I speak over the life of every person. Today every arrow that has been shot. Even to short change your miracle. To short change the answer that has already been answered. In the name of Jesus, and we release the answers of our prayers that you have prayed from January. We release the answers that you have prayed from January to this man. We release them, we release them, we release them in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare that it is done this morning. We declare it is done in this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory. And we give you honor, Rabashe Kantara We want to bless you this morning. Oh, Rabashe Kantara I want to bless everyone that has connected this morning. May the Lord bless you. God has done it. He has done it. He has done it. May the Lord, may this day be fruitful for you. May the Lord go ahead of you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare this morning that my father, we are fruitful and our prayers have been answered. We are just going to hold a little more. We are just going to hold on unto that faith and you will see the fruit of what God has done in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what you have been trusting God for. Just hold on. Because the answers, the moment you set yourself pray, 
The moment you started praying for the 90 days, the moment you started praying in January, the moment you started fasting for that need, God has already answered your prayer. And today it is going to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I want to appreciate everyone that has joined with, has been praying with us this morning. Indeed, it has been a time to be the process. I feel to tell you one thing. Just hold on a little bit bit and see the salvation of the Lord. The Israelites were told, be still and see the salvation of the Lord. I have that thing in my spirit. My sister, my brother, just be still a little bit and see the salvation of God in your life. Amen. Thank you very much for joining. We want to appreciate also Daddy again for allowing us to pray. We appreciate it. If you, if you, if you want to connect with this, with this word kindly, there, uh, uh, we are going to project the giving details there. Kindly, you can give through the platform that is projected on your screen and the Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to bless you mightily. We are connecting again tomorrow at this time. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord in the evening, in the grace hour. Oh, you can't afford to miss tonight because the Lord has a word for you. Tonight, I'm waiting for the evening. The Lord has a word. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. The Lord has a word for you tonight. And tomorrow morning, we are here again praying. We cannot pray like that at God not to answer our prayers. He has already answered. We are just waiting for the manifestation of the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord go ahead you, go ahead of you this day because he is a faithful God. He is a faithful God and he is watching his one to perform it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just hold on unto faith. Amen. God bless you. God bless you very much. Amen. God bless you as we meet again in the evening today. Amen. 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 God bless you very much. Thank you for connecting. Amen. God bless you.